Hello and welcome to the NARC Alert, the channel where we look at YouTubers and others to see if they demonstrate any traits that fall within the spectrum of narcissistic personality disorder or NPD. These videos are for fun and entertainment purposes only, strictly my opinion, and remember, please don't send any snark to our possible narcs. So key points to remember, messy fun, and not a diagnosis. Well, hello everyone and welcome back to the NARC Alert. You guys seem to really enjoy the last reaction video I did, so I thought it might be fun to do it once again. After yesterday's, uh, what did we do? Seven Deadly Sins. If you haven't watched it, go check it out. Um, can't be that creative every single day. But I thought it might be fun to react to this one, because we all know Amber's always got a lot to say to us, doesn't she? So without any further ado, let's dive right in. So welcome to a new vlog. We just pulled up to Ulta and the sky is phenomenal. I had to show you. Like it's just so pretty. Look at that. Oh my god. We also need to take this bad boy to the car wash because oh my god has entered the chat again so that's fun. Yeah it's pretty. It's a sunset. It's a pretty sunset. There's no denying that. But doesn't she kind of talk like like she's always seeing things for the first time, like when she saw those flowers beside her door? It's kind of, it's a little weird, right? It's on the outside, but what in the world is that? It doesn't look like bird poop. I don't know what it is, but look at it. It's so beautiful. All right, folks, we come in clutch. With Red Ulta sky Beauty. at night, oh, sailor's gosh. delight. <laughs> no, we need to do a haul. I'll just do it when I get home. We have a bag that we have to take to Goodwill, so we're about to go do that first. Why does she feel the, the compulsion to have to haul everything on video? And, and it's not because she's getting a tax write-off for it all. But, like, who cares, man? Do you have to... Everything she buys, she has to show us. Do you know how many things I buy through the week? I don't feel compelled to pull out the camera and have a haul when I'm unpacking stuff. I just want to unpack it and put it away. Here's another thought I had. I heard some people saying she sent Jade in to Ulta to get her stuff. I don't buy that. I think Amber really knows what she likes makeup-wise. And I just have a feeling that Jade isn't a makeup girl. You know, she's an athlete. I, I just, from the pictures we've saw, seen, she's not a huge makeup girl. I think Amber managed to get herself into the Alta to spend hundreds of dollars on a bit of makeup to sit around the house in. We have made it to the Goodwill. In the middle of the night. <laughs> Alright you guys, it's time for my Ulta haul. Let's get into it. It's been so long since I bought makeup, I've really been needing to. I gotta say, I, I will totally own that I'm jealous of Amber's makeup. I don't wear a lot, clearly. Don't wear a lot of makeup. But she buys nice stuff. I'm telling you, that better than sex mascara, I saw it in a shopper's drug mart around here. I think it was about 38 Canadian dollars. I spend like six to eight bucks on a mascara. I'm not spending that money on mascara. So, so jelly. I have I admit the it. Too Faced Lip Injection Maximum Plump. Because my lips are tiny. We have my bumper. favorite mascara in the whole world. Better than sex mascara. I've been in need of that. I needed a new foundation. You don't brush. need. This was twenty dollars for a. You don't really need any of this. You don't go to work in an office or out in public every day. Are you in public every day? Because you're on YouTube. You sure are. But you roll over out of bed and put the camera on. So it's not like you. You're always looking smart on your YouTube channel, and you require this for work. You don't need forty dollar, thirty dollar mascara. You just don't, girl. Brush, like. Tell Feline thank you, because she actually bought this from you guys. Like, I was We're like, never calling her that. Her name is Jade. And why don't you just wash one of the 4,000 makeup brushes you already have? Is e.l.f. But I've never used the Precision Liquid Eyeliner, so I got that. But then I also got the one that I'm used to, just in case, which I know I'm going to love it. But this is the one that I am just, like, addicted to. It's the Expert Liquid Eyeliner by e.l.f. And then... I got, which I already have this, but... Okay, Miss Richie Rich Kardashian. 
Can you imagine? <laughs> like, I make such careful choices when I buy a new makeup product because I can't always afford to just go buy four more if I don't like it. God, she's so, she's so wasteful. We saw that yesterday. Seven Deadly Sins. Greed. It's like addicted to it's the expert liquid eyeliner by elf i have that and then one. i got which i already have this but is this boring i'm running I'm low on it I it is care. um nyx epic wear ma'am ma'am where are you in the color miami nights so bothers me it's actually plumping lip color which i did not know that i mainly got it because the colors look can someone in the chat, uh, in the converse, in the comments, let me know if you've ever gone out and bought some of her makeup? Because I love how she really always takes the time to read the exact shade, number, or name. So, you know, you can go out and get it because it's 10 out of 10 recommend. Has anyone ever bought? I mean, she does buy good makeup. But have you ever really gone and bought the exact shade numbers that she's always taking the time to tell us about? Pretty because the colors looks pretty and I like pink on me depending um but the fact that it's a plumping one love that yes okay, cooking so I'm time making like a steak stir fry so i have some serve okay chef merck's coming out now i'm not putting on the hat because i never did like those hats chef merck first thing i'm gonna say is stir fry why is the meat in cubes why wouldn't it be traditionally cut in strips it's a steak cut it in nice thin strips for a stir fry this I would do this for beef barley soup. What? Why? What? <laughs> in the pot or the pan, excuse me. And then I'm gonna add broccoli, onion, some scallion. Okay. Down with these this. scallions. These I'm gonna save. I'm down with this, the except end. and some zucchini. It's a stir fry. So if it was a stew, I would say brown that meat first and take it out of the pan. But it's not. It's a stir fry. You got to start with those onions, girl. You gotta start with the onions and celery. Oh, that's not celery, it's green onions. You don't cook those green onions. Green onions are for at the end. Raw. Cook those white onions first. I'm gonna say raw Amber, pay attention, I'll help okay. you. And we're also gonna use some soy sauce, some sriracha. Okay. And instead of using garlic salt, I did have that out from earlier. My meal that I had earlier. Um, I am just gonna use some minced garlic. Amber. And of course, I'm going to top it off with some sesame seeds. Okay, and those sesame seeds are toasted. And she's using minced garlic. Amber. Have you been watching our cooking videos? So here no. We have... Okay, no, <laughs> she hasn't. Here we have um, really nice steak boiling in too much liquid. You can't boil that meat. It's going to be tougher than your shoe. This is why she doesn't like meat, because she doesn't know how to cook it properly. That's going to be so tough. Girl. Maybe. Garlic. Sad thing to do to a steak. No, it's too much liquid. You're stripping and water I'm about to add sauté. The and soy sauce in just a couple minutes. No. Okay, she is complete. It smells like a hibachi restaurant in here, not gonna lie. Okay, I'm gonna totally give it to her. I'm really happy to see her eating like this. This is way better than the famous bowl three times a day from KFC. You gotta give her that. We'll give her that 100%. But the picky ass chef in me has to say, that's just sad looking girl. I mean, it's way better than you usually do, but look at how overcooked everything is. Those broccoli look like they're going to mush the second you touch them. You can't, the, just, the zucchini is indiscernible because it's so overcooked. Ah, I know it's better, but girl, you can do better than this. We're going to add some of the sesame seeds. At least the sesame seeds are toasted. Yeah. Not that she did it. Okay, that's better. But... She took some of that scallion and cooked it, and she saved some for raw because she's fancy now, which is great. At least we're getting there. I'll give her that. But if you're going to cook part of the scallion and save the, a part of it for garnish, cook the white part and save the green part for the garnish. The green part is very delicate. The white part is hardier. I mean, it just makes sense, no? I'll need his rice. rice, but wait, I can't. Hashtag keto queen. I'm just kidding. Okay. Keto queen. She's not keto. She's low carb. A lot of people are flipping out about the keto thing. She's not keto. She's keto-esque. She's low carb. She's eating the, the diet I've been eating for the last three months. Exactly. 50 grams of carbs a day. Um, low carb. No sugar. And so far what she's shown us, she's doing okay. Um, not keto though. 
Plus, her diet seems to be exceptionally high in sodium right now. <laughs> okay, so I'm actually... Also, if you are doing low carb, if you can't give up rice, and brown rice is difficult, um, brown basmati rice is actually a better choice. It's better. It's even lower in carbs than regular whole wheat or brown rice. Don't go for brown basmati. Amber, have brown basmati once a week. It won't be okay. Of putting away some clothes. You guys, I've worn these earrings two days in a row. I'm actually obsessed. Not the point that I'm getting at, but ugh, I know I said I wasn't going to. Maybe you could be obsessed with washing your hair. I'm obsessed with wearing the same tacky plastic earrings two days in a row. Get obsessed with hygiene. Read comments, but here I am. I was reading comments, and as I was putting away my clothes, I got to thinking. I feel like there's been some sort of I'm reading comments. I'm not reading comments. I'm reading comments. I'm not reading comments. I love the comments. I hate the comments. <laughs> oh, I wonder. What's the one What's the one factor that's the same in all these miscommunications, Amber? Nine times you out of girl. ten, I gotta stay reading them. Comments, not stay reading them. I'll read a few, blah, blah, blah. But a lot of people are saying because of my last video where I'm talking about how I have lipedema and I was like diagnosed that I seem like happy about it. I'm not happy oh, you are. I have lipedema. I'm happy. No, she's happy that she doesn't have to take responsibility for her weight now or in the past. That's what it read as, Amber. If that's not what you meant, you better check yourself. Maybe watch your videos back and see how it looks. Because I don't think you watch your videos back. I know you're an editing queen and all, but eh, that's all you, girl. That's all you. And what about the lung cancer? happy that I finally have a diagnosis and a plan. Mm. I am so happy that someone listened to me. And We've heard her say this exact thing before. I'm so happy that I finally found a doctor to listen to me. And she gave me this plan. And guess what? It was the same plan. She's been given low-carb plans before. I have so many answers. Right, and nothing works for me, guys. It must be something else. I do everything perfectly. Girl, you've admitted to ordering three to $4,000 worth of Uber Eats a month. We've watched you eat famous bowls and ramen for breakfast. Like, God, I know the lipedema is part of it. Absolutely, and I'm sorry that it's going to make it a lot harder to lose weight. But you're not doing the damn thing, as you like to say. And I still maintain if she has lost 100 pounds, lipedema aside, then all her weight loss should be in her face and her core, and I'm not seeing that here, 100 pounds worth. Because you can see 20 pounds, I do. I still gain weight. Like, why does a simple car ride make me gain 6 pounds? Like... Nobody in the comments ever told me how the simple car ride can make you gain six pounds. I understand becoming very swollen from water retention, I get that, but how it actually just sitting in a car can physically cause you to gain six pounds, please somebody tell me in the comments. You know, I'm blonde, I'm confusion. So many questions have been answered. So yeah, oh, I'm happy yeah. about that. I'm not happy about the diagnosis. Exonerated. I'm not happy that I low carb keto. I'm not happy about any of that. I'm just I'm happy sure you're not. I have answers and I can Because you're not gonna be able to do it. With a plan and it's something that I've wanted for so long. You've had I finally it before. Did it. So I'm I'm relieved in a way. I feel like a yep. whole weight is off of my shoulders sure because you are. I have a plan. And I see a specialist who has so much knowledge over... Th so was Weight Watchers not a plan or Noom or op Octopus Diet or... I know there's been others that I'm not... Jenny Craig? All the other ones you made up, were those not plans? What about the doctor? What about the doctor who was like... You're healthy. You're overweight, but you're healthy. Didn't she give you a plan? Through years in this very subject, when I thought I would find nobody. You've found many people. You just don't listen to any of them. Nobody. Because lymphedema, lipedema, it's just one of those things where not a lot of doctors understand Can you hear the backup? And even my specialist told me that. So I am relieved. I leave my window open because I know some of you guys like the city ambiance, which I get. But that backup beeping is the bane of my existence. And now you're going to notice it and you're going to hear how often Merck has to listen to that. 
that and even my specialist told me that so I am relieved that's all it is and I just I don't know and people are like she's gonna be making this as an excuse it's not an excuse it's a reason explanation I guys. have been experiencing symptoms from lipedema and I didn't even know to be honest it's both it is a reason it is a reason why it's difficult it's probably a reason why you've gained a lot but it's it's not an excuse at all for how you've gotten to where you are because there's other people with this problem that are not 600 pounds sorry if i'm overestimating i'm just gonna go with it oh i thought i was just broken i thought i didn't know how to count calories and all this stuff you don't turns out that's not true there's it is true. something wrong with me and now i have a plan to fix it i can't fully fix it but i have a plan to work with it and i know how to live my life now around it and I don't know, it's just like so upsetting that I open up so hard to you guys and you guys are like just reading into things wrong. And I try my hardest to explain the We're best monsters, of my ability. Like, monsters, you guys. Uh, there's a quote We're that monsters, I said poor where thing. in the video I was like, now I have Poor thing, reason. pouring her heart out like, to us once again. Yeah, now she has a and we're just change. all over her like what? a bunch of monsters. No, now I have fault. a reason for why I haven't been losing weight when I try and when I do things and count calories and measure my food. And it's because I'm not doing it right for someone with lipedema. No, I'm not happy about it. Why would I be? like? Well, because you also said in that same video, it doesn't matter what I do, what I eat, or how many calories I count. I will always gain weight. You said something pretty much along those lines. Because my first thought was, if that's your mindset already, you're going to use that as an excuse to eat whatever you want because apparently it doesn't matter anyway. And nobody except you is buying that. What? No, now I have a reason for why I haven't been losing weight. Did you need a reason? Could you have not just... I swear to God, I know it makes it more difficult. I'm not denying that. But if she would have been eating healthy, proper calories, and exercising every day, she wouldn't be looking like this now. Lipedema, 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 whatever edema you have. When I try and when All I the do demons. things and count calories and measure my food, and it's because I'm not doing it right for someone with lipedema. No, I'm not happy about it. Why would I be? Like, no, that's not a reason to binge. Like, I... my binges now are like just me overeating and I still rapidly gain weight yeah we don't know any of that we can't you know we can only joke and speculate and pick because we don't know what she eats we don't know what she eats she thinks of one meal from the cheesecake factory is a normal portion and and you know if you don't live in the United States you look at one meal from the cheesecake factory as about three meals so she thinks because she's not ordering three of those now. I don't know. She's so delusional. My binges now is me ordering, like, let's say, Olive Garden. A case of like, potato chips? Alfredo and eating the whole thing. A lot of people do that. I mean, I'm not going to lie. But that's my version of binging currently. Are, most of those pasta restaurants, that's, for me, that's two meals. And honestly... If you're trying to lose weight, then no, you shouldn't. I, and she's saying that's what she binges on now is one full meal. A full order of food is her only binge now. Well, if that's the truth, then that's probably, you know, you can work with that. But I saw you buy a case of potato chips three weeks ago. So I'm having a hard time. When my version of binging years ago was ordering three meals at once, like... Uh... Your ver version of binging three weeks ago was ordering a case. Actually, you didn't even describe buying that case of potato chips as a binge. That was just because in case you got snacky. I've been saying it for years. She has to change her relationship with food. She's still... I, I hate that I have to like sit here and explain myself. But anyway, I'm just exactly. going to finish like putting away my clothes. I need to keep a better calm energy because tomorrow is actually my CT scan for my chest. You need to Ooh, start exercising that. Every day. The pain absolutely Try went away, that. but this morning it came back in my shoulder and uh hate it, but that's just what it is. My breathing 
drastically better. I don't have a cough anymore. I think the antibiotics helped. I don't know. I don't know why the pain is slowly coming back though. My breathing drastically better. So this is her normal breathing. Okay, so this whole lung thing, I know we're past it now, so we can kind of talk about it. The first video she made about it, she said she was very upset because the doctors were talking about lung cancer. Okay? So a lot of us took that seriously and respected that. But maybe she knows that's how we'll react. I don't know at this point what she's up to. And then she came back and said it was a node, a nodule in her lung, and it had fluid around it like it was an infection. And she took some antibiotics, and she's fine. So she never mentioned again about how relieved she was. Do you think you might think, oh, my God, you guys, I can't believe. I'm so, I was so happy to hear it was an infection because I was terrified waiting to find out if this might be lung cancer. I don't know. I would have been a little more scared waiting to find that out. So... I guess tonight or tomorrow, maybe we'll find out the results of this lung CT scan. I'm guessing uh, infection is pretty much all cleared up. The node is the same, and it's, we're good to go again, because this girl has a horseshoe up her ass, as far as health concerns, given her predicament, in my humble opinion. I need to know my results. I want to know so do we. what steps I have to do further because so do we. Is, I'm 31 years old. I turned 32 in December. I turned 59 tomorrow. <laughs> and more than ever, I am just like, doctor, 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 appointment, appointment, appointment. Let's figure it out because the only way that you can figure it out is to get a diagnosis. And I know that's like what my channel has been about. But you guys, y'all have been telling me for years, go to a fucking doctor. And I am. I'm doing the damn thing. Um, so just. I'm doing the damn thing. She talks about this like it's some kind of accomplishment. Like she's doing the damn thing. Girl, you're not running a marathon. You're doing what adults do. You're going to the doctor. And you've taken such poor care of yourself that you really need to go to the doctor a lot for someone your age. You go way more than I do. Just you know, embrace it for what it is for now. You guys are watching it while I'm living it. So <laughs> imagine that. So I... Guys, imagine that. We're only watching it. This poor woman, she has to live it. But you did it to yourself. I did not document the last time I did my Lego, but I did do the other half of the little circle for the globe and you maybe you could refer to that as the equator <laughs> perhaps that's the equator <laughs> that's a new word for amber i'm guessing the other thing that honestly every time i think about when she pulls out this lego number one i don't think she's going to finish this one i don't think she's going to finish this one there's too ma there's too many parts on the inside and she doesn't like that because then she can't she doesn't get to show off her accomplishments about how many pieces she put together if we don't see them. She doesn't like all the hidden parts in Legos. The other thing I think is, can you just maybe crack open an atlas or buy a globe and learn what's on it? Because this, she's, you know, she doesn't know. Y'all calling me a flat earther. I am not a flat earther. I've said it as a joke. I... That's Troll Lynn, okay? But I'm actually about to do- I swear to God. Troll Lynn. I feel a video in the making here. To bag number seven. So this one is actually beginning to build on the- Do you hear that again? Backup beeping. The soundtrack to my friggin' life right now. Actual water of the globe here. Um, as you can see. So I am excited. And while we're here, let's do like a fact. I'm just going to flip. Oh, yeah, no. We don't care about any of the facts. I'm not in grade eight or eighth grade. I don't care to know these. You're going to help mamas. Are you going to help? Oh. oh, 
It's funny, you know. I'm currently right now watching. I was saying to somebody, um, isn't it interesting the way Amber talks to her cats and the way the rest of us talk to our cats? Mine's back there. Um, Amber always talks about how the cats love her, how the cats are obsessed with her. Do you want to come to Mama's? With the S on the end of everything. Um, the rest of us talk about, like, he thinks his name is I love you. Because I say I love you so much. Oh my God, I love my boy. He's so handsome. I talk to him about him. She talks to them about her. <laughs> she's even, she's even narky with her pets. <laughs> Um, a podcast, Jeff F Jeff F F <laughs> Jeff F M podcast with Tana. I, I find them to be like really entertaining together. So I'm gonna okay. keep watching that. Well, I gotta I gotta bear the burden of the fact that she watches a lot of the same YouTubers that I do. I'm not watching the Jeff and Tana thing, but I know she's a big H three fan, and I'm a big H three fan. Do my Lego, and I'll show you guys how it looks after. So these are all the pieces that I am messing with, but I will say like the more I start putting things in here, it's like not even noticeable that I did anything. So it's not even noticeable that I did anything. It's not about completing the project and having it be a functional Lego thing that she built. It's about her. It's not even noticeable I did anything. A Sucks. lot goes on in a Lego, and sometimes it's like visibly not even noticed. Right. When I Mechanics. did the typewriter Lego, Mechanics. even the um, Nintendo Lego, like inside of the Nintendo is like a whole other world of its own, but you I'm like sure. don't see it. Yeah. Um, so sometimes like the person who completes a Lego, they know how much work and amazingness like went on on the inside of the Lego and not just like displayed on the outside. Um, if you've created a large Lego, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. You know how much work you put into those pieces, and you don't even get the credit for it, you guys. Because building that is about how much credit you get for it. it sucks when those happen. I don't like these mechanical ones. I don't get... She should just build Legos that look like a piece of art, like a flat canvas. Oh. All right, you guys. It's about 30 minutes later. And this is what we have. We even have some wheels going on. This is what the outside they're looks cool, like. They're cool, eh? They're they're pretty mechanically ingenious. Like and then what, the I must inside say. is looking rather interesting. I must admit, She's never a part of me wants to do another round, but it just seems like a lot of pieces, and I don't know if I have the actual patience currently. So. Like, I'm going to call it quits for the night, but, oh my god, I love it. And there was quite a few extra pieces this time. Again, extra pieces is just that in happened. case that you misplace pieces and how they pick and choose which one. Or maybe you missed a couple, too. I know they put extras in. <laughs> just decent. Who knows? Oh, well, that was a sudden ending, wasn't it? Well, there you go. Amber Lynn Reed in all of her delicious glory. Putting together her globe, doing the damn thing, guys. She's got the doctor's appointments popping. She's doing the damn thing. It's a new Amber. I can't wait to see her CT scans. I bet you're excited, too. Well, I wonder. That might be tonight. It might be tomorrow. <gasps> hey, tomorrow, Halloween, happy birthday, Merc live stream. I hope you join me. We're going to have some fun. I don't know what the heck we're going to do, but we're going to have some fun. It's Halloween-y, right? Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. I can't wait to see you tomorrow. And until then, you know the routine. Be kind. And hasta luego. <laughs>